Welcome to the West Palm Beach Fishing Club's Virtual Awards Program. I'm Tom T. Hey there, I'm Tommy Buzz. Hey Buzz, we have got a lot of ground to cover during this program. We're going to be announcing the winners of our year-long fishing contest. And we have a lot of winners to announce because we had a lot of participation in the contest this year. That's great to see. We're also going to have a big reveal on the recipient of our Volunteer of the Year honor. This is something we don't always hand out, Buzz, so pretty special stuff. Hey, we're also going to be drawing raffle tickets for our awesome Angler's Dream oh, Raffle. Yeah. And that thing is tight. It's loaded, so that's cool. Who wouldn't want to win some of that stuff? And if that wasn't enough, we're going to be drawing one winning ticket for our annual Go Fish Cash Raffle Buzz. Somebody's going to go home with $5,000 big news. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's dive right into it and talk about the annual fishing contest. Sure. Every day of the year, club members can enter a catch around here. Yeah, what a great way to be involved in the club. And one of the coolest aspects of the annual fishing contest is our peewee. So we love recognizing our peewee champions and we did something a little extra special for them this year. Me and Tom T hit the road, we loaded up the trophies and some pen combos and went door to door. Watch. The Pied Piper of Pee Wees Special has delivery. arrived. <laughs> Special delivery. Bridget! Hi, Bridget! How are On behalf of the West Palm Beach Fishing Club, we congratulate you for being one of our Pee Wee champions! Yeah, Bridget! Yeah. <laughs> oh. There's your trophy. Oh my god, thank you so much! Yeah? What? Yeah. You caught a snook? No way! We got a truck for you. There you go with your name on there. Jason! What? Nice. Alright. Alright, yeah. How about that? Champion Lacey! <laughs> Gosh, Buzz, yeah. that was great. Some really great reactions. Yeah, a lot of those kids were really fired up. And we couldn't make it to every Pee Wee's house, just some in our area. But take a look at our final leaderboard for our Pee Wee's and all the great catches they had. Man, really good stuff. Nothing like a trophy and a new pen rod and reel to keep kids excited about fishing. A huge thank you to one of our sponsors, Pen Fishing Tackle, and to longtime West Palm Beach Fishing Club member, Nick Smith. Nick has been a member of the club for 67 years. And there was a time when he was a little kid around here accepting awards. So it's really great to see his involvement come full circle, Buzz. Good stuff. Hey, let's dive right into the rest of the annual fishing contest. Let's start in the inshore division. The inshore division gets a lot of participation in the casting categories. There's junior angler Emily Hanslick posting a fish for fly, spin, and plug. Crazy to see someone like her go across the board in all the casting divisions for bass. Moving on to our general tackle categories using bait, there's Ty Fedler with a really nice 6-pound, 12-ounce bass, and Willie Schmidt with our single heaviest fish for the largemouth bass category, 8 pounds, 1 ounce. Nice. All right, Buzz, let's move on to peacock bass. Looking at the peacock bass casting divisions here, Don Humphreys usually catching redfish, but he got a peacock on fly there. We got a junior angler and we got Rob Rennebaum with a pending club record on plug 16 tackle. Moving on to the general tackle categories, just some massive peacock bass there. And there's Rob Rennebaum's name again in general 20. Okay, who won the bluefish categories? This guy is no stranger to the annual fishing contest. Look at Jay Young there. An 11 pound, 8 ounce ridiculous bluefish on spin 8. Jay is all over the river. It's no secret where he caught that fish. And uh, Phil Zamet's got one on plug 16 tackle. Moving on to the general tackle categories there. Jay's on the board again. And Big Casey with another big bluefish, 11 pounds. Pretty impressive. Nice. All right. Let's highlight our redfish winners. Just one redfish here in the casting categories, Dave Nauman getting it done on spin eight tackle. One thing that's really cool about the inshore category is we see anglers 
all over the state entering fish. He caught that on the West Coast. The redfish on the general tackle categories are just ridiculous, Tom T. Like you said, <laughs> those are bulls. Don Humphrey's on there. He's got a couple club records for redfish. And Stuart Pavlik with a couple late entries there. Getting it done with Captain Don Dingman up in Jacksonville. Two massive redfish on 20 and unlimited. All right, let's move to a category that fills every year, the Jack Craval category. Jack Craval, man, those things will work you. That makes this first one all that more impressive. Will Sabrak with a 32-pound Jack Craval on fly tackle. Oh, my God, that'll work you. <laughs> Going to the general tackle categories, look, uh, that's Tommy Buzz there with Mike Sedlak, a 15-pound Jack Craval on 12-pound test, that's some good <laughs> stuff there. And we got two juniors filling it out for the 20 and unlimited. Emily caught that one on the beach, and that's a, a pending or a current IGFA world record. In fact. Wow, very nice. All right, let's move on to ladyfish. They call ladyfish the poor man's tarpon, Tom T. <laughs> Just because they air it out. And uh, look at that, Noah Zabel, a junior angler, landing one on fly rod at nighttime there. Really cool to see. Time to talk about Spanish mackerel. Yeah, Captain Patrick Smith, he's spoken at the clubhouse before. Swamp the Sea Guy Charter, super dialed in, got one on spin eight there. And West Palm Beach Fishing Club board member Bob Freebert getting one on plug tackle. The general tackle categories, Kurt Backus. Look at that, what a great fish there. Greg Keats, he likes to take photos at the fillet table and he used those smaller mackerels for Marlon Bates and Mike Ianella got one on the board there as well. One of the more prestigious fish in the inshore division is the permit. Who's our winners? Highly coveted. Rob Rennebaum again on the board there with a pending club record on fly tackle. And Patrick Smith got one on spin eight there. Looking at the general tackle categories, Patrick Smith once again. And two ridiculous permit off the beach, Aaron Barnes. And again, Emily Hanslick with two big permit caught off the beach here. All right, who are our Pompano winners? Marsha Fick is always putting Pompano on the board. She's got a couple club records for Pompano, got one on fly there. And I think I've said this name a couple times. There's Patrick Smith once again. And really cool there, junior angler Tyler Ellers. You'll recognize that jig in the mouth there. That's a Pompano jig from uh, Gulfstream Lures there for Tyler. In the general tackle categories, Mark Hewitt there. And Charlotte Gill with a four-pound pompano. That's a big fish on 20. All right, our next category is for snapper. Now, Buzz, this includes not only mutton and yellowtail and mangrove snapper, but also cubera and red snapper. Yeah, you might know a thing or two about this category, Tom T. I'm seeing you there <laughs> on the spin eight there. Three-pound, nine-ounce mutton offshore. And Noah Zabel followed your lead there, went out there with plug 16 tackle, got a four-pound two ounce mountain offshore as well. Looking at the general tackle categories here, Tim B with an eight pound fish, Guy Bartels with an 18 pound eight ounce red snapper, and then Dan Miller with a big mutton on unlimited. Always one of the most coveted awards to win in the annual contest is for Snook. Who took the categories, Buzz? There's Don Humphreys again with the 12 pound Snook in the inlet, that's a great fish on fly. Noah Zabel with an 18 pound one on spin eight and Dan Kleiser with a 22 pounder on plug 16 filling out the casting categories. Now here's some impressive fish in the general tackle. Mark Prezak fishing the inlet with a 28 pound snook on 12. Noah Zabel with a 26 pound 10 ounce snook on gen 20 and his younger brother Brady Zabel with a ridiculous 32 pound snook caught there at the spillway. And that fish is still leading the annual Nora Award competition in the club, which goes to the end of the year. All right, let's move on to spotted sea trout. Spotted sea trout, just one fish there in the casting categories, a six pound, eight ounce trout on spin eight for Dave Nauman. Here in the general tackle categories, there's junior angler Tyler Ellers again. What a great pick. Any trout that gets over four pounds becomes a gator, boss. And Bill Zaman got one as well. Three pounds, eight ounces. Good going there, Bill. All right, let's round up the inshore division with our triple tail winners. This triple tail on spin eight is just a really cool fish and a great story. He caught this 18 pound triple tail, tagged the fish and released it. Really cool catch there. Congratulations, Jay. General tackle, there's Jay's name one more time. And little Casey Stan, not so little, but uh, 18 pounds as well. He brought that fish to weigh it at fishing headquarters there. 
and Robert Lerner submitted this one, a 16-pound triple tail as well. Those are all solid fish. Hey, congratulations to all of our inshore division winners. Now it's time to move offshore, Buzz. Offshore is right in our backyard here, boss. Take a look at this. African pompano, probably one of the coolest looking fish offshore here. I'm sure more were caught this year, but just one was entered. Congratulations, KDB, with a 14-pound African pompano on unlimited general tackle. Moving along to the amberjack species here. Typically caught on heavier tackle, so we got one in general 20 and one on unlimited. Greg Keats and Dave Ward getting it done. All right, a popular species offshore, barracuda buzz. Yep, barracuda is one of the species you can kind of target in the casting category. Emily Hanslick got it done on the tube lure there. And uh, it's an offshore species, but looks like Kurt caught this one inshore right there next to Peanut Island by the port. 20 pound, 12 ounce on 12 gen, pretty impressive. And here's two more, Dave Nauman getting it done offshore in the kayak. Catching the barracuda in a kayak's pretty cool. And then Steve got one there, 19 pounds, four ounces as well. All right, our next category is for cobia. Always some good fish in this one. There is Bruce Beatty on the dock there, 34 pounds. And Marcelo Martin has a ridiculous 40 pound cobia right there. Great catch, gentlemen. Again, one on 20 and one on unlimited. Very nice. One of our most popular categories, but really not a lot of entries this year, Buzz, dolphin. Yeah, we have a dolphin on 20 and a dolphin on unlimited. There's Richard Keating. They just caught this fish pretty recently in our pop and sales tournament. And Mike Maluski, one of our most active anglers in the club, posted a big 22 pound, 12 ounce dolphin on unlimited tackle. We need to see more of our members take some light tackle offshore and fill some of these categories next year. All right, our next category is for grouper. Grouper is one of those really cool fish you see because you're catching them offshore, but a lot of times they pull them out of the mangroves. There's Bill Zant with a 11 pound grouper on spin eight. And check this fish out, ridiculous. Will Sabrak on 12 pound tackle, getting a 20 pound, two ounce grouper. And there's Dave Nauman, another one from the mangroves. And Greg Keats, a 34 pound grouper while trolling. Wow, that's really respectable. Our next category is for King Mackerel. Yeah, boss, I think this is one of your favorite catches in the contest you had mentioned. Catching a King Mackerel on fly offshore by junior angler Charlie DeBay. Really impressive stuff. Absolutely. And Dan Miller out there showing us what plug tackle looks like with a 14 pound kingfish. And we filled these ones for the lighter tackle, 12 pound. Jay Young's got it done there. Mike Maluski with a 37 pound, 12 ounce one and Max Howard with a ridiculous smoker king. There he is on the dock, 45 pounds, six ounces. Wow, nice. One of my favorite categories, blackfin tuna is next, Buzz. Yep, blackfin tuna, people love targeting those in the springtime, it's a predictable season for them. I think just about everyone's out there in the afternoon, a lot of fun. Max Litchtigs popping one over 30 pounds, and Mike Sherb with a 28 pound, eight ounce blackfin tuna, that was the winning fish in our Blackfin Blitz pop-up tournament. That's great, really respectable fish. Our next category is for Yellowfin Tuna. Now this is a category that rarely gets filled during the annual contest, Buzz, but we had one really exceptional fish caught this year. We're talking about the fish of a lifetime here. You might recognize this guy, boss. It's a uh, young Eddie Twyford here. <laughs> That's a ridiculous fish, 122 pounds and 12 ounces. Standing up, stand up tackle, 20 pound tackle. Hey, our next category is for one that we can all catch, Little Tony, or as many of us call them, Bonita. Yeah, it's cool to see we got two juniors on the board here. Charlie DeBay with his second fish offshore on fly tackle with that, Bonita. And there's Tyler Ellers with one of our great club members, Captain Willie Howard there, 14 pound Bonita on spin eight tackle. And that looks like another golf stream lure in that fish's mouth. I love to see the kids fishing the light tackle offshore, Buzz. Getting it done. Here in the general tackle categories, Jay Young got one on the board once again. Another junior member, Larson Kocher, one of our new members as well, getting that done. And Greg Keats, 23 pounds, 7 ounces. Our final category in the offshore division is for Wahoo. Yep, everybody's trying to catch a Wahoo offshore. There's Greg Keats with another one of his famous fillet table photos. And this last fish here is the catch of a lifetime. Once again, Nick Cardella has an 84 pound, 11 ounce Wahoo 
on stand-up tackle caught while sail fishing. That's crazy. Mono leader, circle hook, right in the corner of the mouth. That is absolutely the catch of a lifetime. Congratulations, Nick. Hey, let's move on to our release categories, Buzz. Yep, first up here is our Blue Marlin release category, and there is Doug Broxton releasing his Blue Marlin in Florida waters. There was a couple caught by club members, but Doug got his on dead bait, which is a three to one point ratio. Congratulations, Doug Broxton, winning the Blue Marlin release award. Next up here is our Tarpon release award, and that's an early man's game, and Rob Renabob's playing that game. Rob caught three Tarpon on fly, 500 points each, bringing his total to 1,500 points. Rob Rennebaum is the winner of our Tarpon release category. Our last release category, there's Emily Hanslick with a beautiful bonefish. She caught three of them this year, all on artificial. Those are 300 points each. She had a total of 900 points. Emily Hanslick won our bonefish release category. Those are all fantastic fish. Hey, the most coveted award in the annual fishing contest is the Grand Champion Adult Angler Award, Buzz. Really stiff criteria to even be eligible to win this prize, and nobody did it this year. Yeah, not this year, but we want to give a shout out to Dave Nauman and Jay Young. They posted a lot of impressive fish, but were just one away, and it takes all year to log the right fish for that award. Very special stuff to get your name on the Grand Champion Angler Trophy here at the West Palm Beach Fishing Club. Hey, we did award the Junior Angler of the Year, right Buzz? Yes, we did. Congratulations to Emily Hanslick, our 2020 Junior Angler of the Year. This is Emily's third consecutive year winning this title. It was no easy task. Here's just a few of the fish that got her to the winner's circle. We want to give another big congratulations to Emily Hanslick, our Junior Angler of the Year. Absolutely. Well deserved. And I want to thank marine artist Haynes Hoffman from Blue Water Copper Works who donated this year's Junior Angler of the Year trophy. It's a beautiful work of art. Thank you, Haynes. All right, we have a big reveal for you now. This is our Volunteer of the Year Award. And this is something we don't present every year, but this particular club member is so deserving of it. This guy mans the scoreboard during the Silver Sailfish Derby. When we were planting oyster reefs up at MacArthur Beach State Park, he's the first one to sign up. When we had our salty program for junior anglers, he's there on board teaching the kids. He's really involved in the KDW Classic as a committee member, and he also shows up on a Sunday afternoon <laughs> after the event yeah. to clean up. What kind of dedication is that? It's my great honor to present the Volunteer of the Year Award, this classic West Palm Beach Fishing Club poster, to none other than George Patain. All right, man, that is just fantastic. George, we are so grateful to have you involved. Thank you for everything that you do. All right, Buzz, it's time to have our Angler's Dream Raffle. All of you folks that bought a raffle ticket, pull them out, because here we go. All right, we've moved over here to the awesome Angler's Dream Raffle Display Area. Our first item that we're giving away is an awesome Fishing Headquarters gift pack of Wahoo Lures, and it includes a $100 gift certificate. And the winner is Angie Sherlock. All right, give it up for Angie. All right, folks. You get to draw the next one. Yeah, shake that <laughs> up. All right, next up here, something everybody can use, a pen, squall, 40, lever drag combo. The winner of the pen combo is Brian Brodowski. Congratulations, Brian. You got the combo right there. Let me get that set up. And I'll pass this right back over to you there, boss. All right, here we go. We're shaking them up. I know everybody likes us to shake up raffle tickets, <laughs> right, Buzz? Our next item is a Lot Brothers Custom 16 to 30 pound class spinning rod with a $100 gift certificate. Wow. And the winner is from the bottom. Give it up for Jeremy Tompkins. Hey, Jeremy Tompkins. <laughs> All right. All right, Buzz, you get to pick the next one. What's up next here? Ooh, this is a big hitter here, boss. 
We got a fully loaded Tiger's Kite Kit next up here. Shake this up a little bit. Oh man, this is Let's really good pull. stuff. I'm going to look away when I pull this one here. Let's see. Oh, this is juicy here. Congratulations, you got a new Kite Kit coming your way. Dave Nauman. <laughs> All right. I want to see him kite fish from a kayak. All right. Our next item is a pair of Costa aviator sunglasses. <laughs> Those aviators are becoming pretty popular these days. All right. I'm going to dig deep here. The winner of the aviator Costas is James Davis of Jupiter. <laughs> All right, we're moving along here. The next item up is a beanbag chair from Tuppins Marine and Tackle in Lake Worth. Hey, congratulations, Tim Powell from West Palm Beach. You're riding in style and comfort. My top priorities on the boat, boss, comfort and safety. All right, thank you, Tuppins, for that. And our next item on the list is a Stanley melts off framed, matted, Ooh. signed and Ooh. numbered Bluefin tuna print right there in back. Let me tell you, these are really, really fine works of art, Buzz. The winner is Bruce Beatty from hey. Hope Sound. All right. You can hear me shaking them up here. Check out that angled cooler right behind me here. That's a 35 quart high performance hard cooler. That thing will hold ice. This next winner is going to have some cold drinks in their future. I'm pulling the ticket here. Congratulations to Alan Ortman. Hey, you got a new angle cooler coming all the way up to Rocks Apache Grove. All right, yeah. Alan, thank you for your support. Our next item a pelagic duffel bag and pelagic swag. Look at all this stuff. Pelagic hooking us up. The winner is Digging Deep is Butch Farrell. All right, congratulations, Butch. That hat is you. This next item is perfect for catching fish offshore and keeping them cold. Once again, we got a Boone insulated fish bag that comes with a rigging kit as well. Let's see who's getting out there with their new fish bag that I'm sure will get dirty soon enough there. Hey, this guy won our Wahoo series one time. Congratulations to Matt. Seeger, he's All got right. a rigging bag. Our next item is a Pen 4500 Spin Fisher 6 Rod and Reel Combo. High quality combo. Good stuff. The winner is Jim Model. All <laughs> right. Yeah. Jimmy Model can use this in his life. Congratulations, Jim, and thank you for being a member so long. We really appreciate it. You're up, Buzz. Let's see, next up here, hey, that's a 30 quart dry box cooler and it comes with rod holders on it too. You do any fishing out of a kayak or John boat or anything like that, sometimes rod holders are scarce and that's what you're looking for. Let's see who's winning that angle cooler. Hey, Lane Pryor, West Palm Beach. You're right down the street from us. You've got a new angle cooler coming your way. Congratulations, Lane. Prior. Nice. Lane has been a fishing club member for a long time, Buzz. Right. Really good to see some long time members get in on the action here. Our next item is an AFW, that's American Fishing Wire and CNH Lures Prize Pack. Good stuff in this. Lots of lures, lots of terminal tackle that anybody can use. The winner is Sherry Dunham. Captain Sherry, there you go. go. <laughs> All right. Next up here, we got a three-day, two-night stay at one of the finest marinas in Palm Beach County, Sailfish Marina. Thank you, Shannon, Brian, and Megan for hooking us up with that. Starting it up here. Don't take Sailfish Marina for granted. It's a pretty nice place. We get, we get kind of used to it here in Palm Beach County, but it's first class there. Oh, man, this guy lives up in Jupiter. He's got a staycation in his future. Give it up for Jay Young, Sailfish Marina getaway winner. He can send the relatives that he doesn't like there instead <laughs> of staying at his house. <laughs> All right, next up is a beautiful set of custom gaffs from none other than fishing club member Casey Stan. 
Hey, you want to see some real artwork when it comes to building rods and gaffs? Go check in with Little Case up at Fishing Headquarters. The winner of the custom gaffs is Guy Bartell. Hey, yeah. Oh, right. He'll put them to work, too. Absolutely. Let's see. Next up here. Hey, a couple floodlights from Lumatech. Thanks for hooking it up for us, Lumatech. Let's see whose boat is going to light the night now. Let's see. <laughs> Our winner here, two Lumatech floodlights. Hey, congratulations, Corey Johnson of Palm Beach Gardens. Shine it up, Corey. You got two Lumatech Cabrera 2 floodlights coming your way. Nice. All right, Buzz, we've got another great item. This one was a late add-on, not even on the list. Another angle, 65-quart seafoam cooler full of white claw. <laughs> yeah. Donated by yeah. club board member Bob Waite. Yeah. Really appreciate that. Buzz, you know how I feel about white claw, right? It's kind of a fan favorite of a lot of people in the area. <laughs> You've seen me drink a few, boss, so. Here we go. The winner is, I'm digging deep. Down the, the winner <laughs> is Jim Stovall. Hey, Jim, I hope you like White Claw and you've got an awesome angle cooler in your life now. All right, we're winding up. We're down to our last two items. This next one, Buzz, it's all you. This is a beautiful 32 inch snook mount from King Sailfish Mounts, and that's a piece of art right there. Absolutely gorgeous. Who wouldn't want that? There is not a West Palm Beach Fishing Club member that wouldn't like having that hanging in their house. All right, I'm stirring them up. That thing looks real. It's freaking me out. I'm just kidding. Here we go. The winner of the nice snook mount here is Steve Byrne from Tequesta. Congratulations, Steve. I hope you got some wall space at the house because uh, that snook mount's going up pretty soon. I think Steve's going to be happy with that one. All right, we're down to our final Angler's Dream raffle item buzz. And what an item it is. We have a Minn Kota iPilot trolling motor. Yeah, that thing is sweet. iPilot technology, that's very 2020 stuff right there. All right, somebody is going to be very happy with this draw. I'm closing my eyes, I'm digging <laughs> deep, and the winner is David Libas. <laughs> he has got a beautiful Minn Kota trolling motor in his life now. David, thank you for buying raffle tickets. Thank you everyone for buying these raffle tickets and supporting the club. This was a fantastic raffle giveaway and we really appreciate the support of our sponsors as well. All right, we have arrived at the big moment. It is time to draw our 50-50 Go Fish Cash raffle winner. Every year at the fishing club we sell 100 $100 tickets, Buzz, right? And we sold out. We sold out again. So the winner of this cash raffle drawing is going to go home with $5,000. That's half. That's pretty good. <laughs> you did well in math, Buzz. Yeah. So, and the other half, of course, goes to the fishing club. So, hey, thank you to everybody that bought a ticket. It's my great pleasure to introduce you to our raffle ticket drawer our own mailman, Tony Ayers. Give it up for Tony, yay! Give it up for me. Buzz and I do not want the responsibility of picking the cash raffle winner. We're giving that responsibility to you, Tony. All right. Tony has been to our annual yard sale through the years. He was actually at the barbecue last year, so he's no stranger to this gig. Tony, here you go, dig deep. Ruffle them up and pick a winner. All right. <laughs> Drum roll, please. And the winner of our $5,000 cash raffle is Guy Bartels. <laughs> there you go. Thank you, Tony. And congratulations, Guy. I can't imagine any better karma for somebody that is so supportive of the club. Here it is, folks, right here. Guy Bartels. <laughs> Very nice. Congratulations, Guy. Thank you for everybody that purchased a ticket. Yeah, big stuff, and thanks for supporting the club. That's always fun, great odds, and my heart's racing right now. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, it's time to wrap up this virtual awards program. Thank you for watching. Hey, Buzz, the annual fishing contest leaderboard is a clean slate. It's a clean slate. It's wide open. We got categories offshore, inshore, casting, dead bait, live bait, you name it. Be sure to enter your catch. You can't win if you don't enter. Again, thanks for watching, and thank you for being a member of the West Palm Beach Fishing Club.